Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Henry Seville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1965 Biscayne. This car has a 350 aluminum radiator, cold AC, tinted windows. It's a four speed car. Should be a good test drive. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I post stuff like this every day. And today we're gonna be getting to some more Biscaynes and Impalas. So definitely check out some of our uh, 1300 videos we got online here. We got a website, maplemotors.com. I can get you financed. I can ship these cars anywhere in the world. But right now, it's that time. Test drive time. Let's go for a ride. Gonna look around the interior before we take off. Hey, what do you think? You think the horn works or not? We're gonna hit it here closer to the end of the video or before we take off in here. Look around the interior, check it all out. If you haven't seen the walk around video, definitely check that out. Go ahead and start this up. It's got a digital tack, cold AC. It's blowing real cold right now. Uh, showing 99,000 miles on the dash. Of course, I can't stand behind that. This is a 65 model with a different motor. I do have the uh, face of the radio in the office. There's a tack below for the temperature, a battery, and the oil pressure. Oil pressure sitting at about 30 right now. Um, temperature's 180, about where it needs to be. This tack's pretty cool. That's digital, guys. I'm gonna try some of the different stuff in here. We got the wipers. They tinted the front windshield. And we'll go ahead and try the horn. What do you think? Did y'all bet on it? Did you try the pole in the top right corner? If you didn't, we're gonna try it now. <laughs> it doesn't work. All right, let's roll down the road. All right, here we go, guys. Um, one thing about this car, notice there's no seat belts. So we're gonna just roll down the road nice and easy. Check it out. Anything that I see that may be wrong, you will know about. Put this down here so I'm not seeing a reflection the whole time. The clutch itself feels pretty tight. And uh, the more I look at this tack, it looks digital. I don't think it is. I think I mentioned that twice in both videos. When it cuts off, it's completely black. You can't see anything on it. It doesn't look digital, it just looks cool. All right, let's see how this thing drives. The clutch lets out almost instantly there. Have to add power steering to this car. It doesn't have power steering. Speedo's coming up. There's some slack in that steering, quite a bit too. Look at that. Let's try the brakes out before we get too far. Brakes feel good. They got that tack where it'll shift at like two, three grand. Turn signals popping up on the dash there. It's nice having this cold AC. But there is quite a bit of slack in the steering. About that much. Brakes feel good on this. It's not pulling to the left or the right while we were driving down the road. Definitely stopping at the gas station. I want to put about $20 worth of fuel in here to make sure I'm not going to run out because I don't feel like running out today. Maybe tomorrow, but I ain't running out today. <laughs> Just shift when it beeps. it was mine I wouldn't want it beeping at me tell me when it should all right I'm gonna put some gas 
gas in this car and we'll keep rolling down the road. Throw the gas in back here behind the tag. And we'll check that fuel gauge. Our fuel gauge is up here on the left. Go ahead and start it up. Let me see if I can get some keys first. And we'll start it up. The gas gauge works. Cool. Let's keep rolling. Okay, it is that time. How's that look? Another head cam shot. Like I said, I'm gonna keep practicing this head cam here. I think that looks all right. All right, let's roll out. Before we take off, checking my gauges. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Y'all see that? Showing about 25 on the oil pressure. It's showing 190 on the temp gauge down here. So we're good. We've been in the parking lot blowing AC. I mean, that's, that's good. All right. Let's roll out. Definitely going to roll my window up. I noticed the window was coming off track, so that's something that you'll have to check out. Keep your finger on it. Get your fingers on it. Rolling back to the lot now, see if I can find anything else. That may be wrong with this car. I'm going to try to keep my head still. But I still gotta watch out for traffic. I don't wanna pull out no, in front of nobody here. That's one thing that I was noticing about my virtual cam. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's a get down moment. Jumps up to speed pretty fast. The thing that's beeping is this tack, watch. It's like you need to shift. <laughs> that's pretty cool though, I like how it flashes. I'm sure you can uh, turn the beeping off. Kinda gets annoying after a while. I can hear the motor rev up, I know when I need to shift. Suspension feels nice and smooth. That's another good thing about this car here. The main thing on the bad is the steering. So much slack. I mean, look at that. I'm driving down the road and it's bouncing around. So that's something you would want to get fixed for sure. You could drive it this way. I just don't recommend it. Gave you a little bit of a virtual drive here. We're gonna pull over. I'm gonna get you hooked up on the other window. We're gonna go down the road, hit some bumps. Like that one. <laughs> the big old drop there that we came down. So let's get y'all put in the window now. Okay, got you licked and stick. You up on the window now. Let's see if I can drive this car. <laughs> I love this thing. That cruiser. Big old bump coming up in the middle of the road here. We'll hit it. We should float across it like a boat. Right here. Come on. I couldn't even feel that in this car. 
pretty good. Man, I gotta remember to fix my hair after wearing that headband. I shaved it all off this week. So I can get through the summer. Always waiting on this red light here. I'm gonna do all Impalas today. We're gonna do bis paint, bis games and Impalas all day long. I've got, uh, I think, two more to do after this. I, I ended with an Impala yesterday, so it's just gonna be an Impala street. Let's go for it. traffic starting to get out. I got used to everybody staying at home the last month or so. Kind of had open roads. Definitely not short of cars here in Hendersonville. Red light's changing though, so we'll have an open road again. through the video but they've got lines every 10 foot where they've repaired the road so you get going pretty fast you can start feeling the bumps because there's so many of them i'm gonna turn back into the lot here try to get the gate blocked uh we own the parking lot next door so we, if you come down park in the next door parking lot don't pull into the lot uh there's lots of obstacles the back you can't hardly turn around and we're full. We got a lot of cars right now. So when people pull in, they're like, well, what do I do? What do I do? I'm like, next door, we're in the parking lot. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching. If you like this test drive, hit that subscribe button. Definitely jump on maplemotors.com. You can see all of our inventory. There's a couple of the Impalas that I'm getting ready to do next. Full Impala day, Biscayne day. Uh, jump on maplemotors.com, finance and information. I can ship these cars anywhere in the country, and you can find all that out on the website. A lot of people didn't know we even had a website, even though I posted in the bottom of the screen. I, I started with the videos. That is something that is important to check out. Also, did a walk around video pointing out any kind of flaws, chip scratches, dents, all that good stuff. And I'm going to link it to the end of this one, bottom right hand corner of the screen easy access we do that with every car just a tip if you want to look something up you see it on maplemotors.com put the year the model and maple motors on youtube search bar and you'll get both videos for example 1965 biscayne maple motors you'll see two videos of this we've got thousands of videos out there you can see all of our previously sold inventory and we leave that up there for you to see what we've been buying and uh, what kind of cars we take in I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys.